Hey guys, it's Wale here. One of your most significant passions is to learn how to reduce your stress response on a daily basis. One of your most significant obsessions should be every day spending some quality time to turn off your stress response. Overactive stress response wrecks a havoc to your neurological side, your visceral organs, and of course, your psychological and emotional uh, life. What we do know is that if you are stressed out all the time, you are in a stressful job, stressful relationship, you know, your children are driving you crazy, you have a particular health condition that is stressing you out, you can't sleep, lack of sleep is a stressor, and a whole bunch of other environmental and genetic stressors that we have today. Now, what happens is that your neurons will dump significant amount of glucocorticoids, stress chemicals, cortisol, adrenaline, no adrenaline, into your bloodstream. And that will start to desensitize the crucial receptors that are supposed to serve as your feedback signal for the part of the brain that produces the stress chemical to stop the production line. In other words, there's no feedback device. Your brain just secretes so much cortisol. And that is how you damage the neurological region that is supposed to serve as your stress responsiveness center. So what happens to you? You have cardiovascular issue, high blood pressure, and because of the intensity of the pace at which your blood is being delivered to different parts of the brain because of the hypertensiveness of your blood, hypertension, you start to damage very, very delicate capillaries and arteries and blood vessels. And those damaged sites will attract a specialized group of cells called platelets that will have to aggregate in those damaged sites as a way of stopping the bleeding. But the, 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 the downside to that is that they start to form plaques, they start to clump together in a very tiny, inside of a very tiny artery. And you know the result. You could develop very critical heart disease, myocardial infarction, heart attack could happen. Why? Because the blood flow, the delivery of oxygen and glucose to essential parts of your brain is truncated because of the clumped and blocked arteries and blood vessels. Now, your, your tummy, your stomach could be compromised as well because the vagus nerve that serves your entire visceral organs, including your gastrointestinal tract, your gut, becomes flaccid because of too much stress chemicals. They recruit defensive states and they divert crucial energy that's supposed to be used for building projects, for infrastructure projects, for healthcare projects. They divert all this energy into your survival activities. So there's less amount of energy going into digesting your food and secreting all those gastric juice and hydrochloric acids and all those stuff that enable you to have a well-rounded, a well-established gastrointestinal action. A whole bunch of things go wrong when you're stressed out without an adequate outlet for frustrations, outlet to reduce the stress level. You've got to sit down tonight and figure out how to lower your own stress levels. Otherwise, the longevity of your life, of your health, is not guaranteed. Go out, go and jog. Make sure you have an outlet every day. Music, dance, connect with people who make you feel relaxed. Uh, meditate, pray. What all those things are powerful sources. And, and outlets to relieve your overactiveness of your stress uh, response. And while I like it, but hope this has been useful. Now, 
It is not about what happens to us in life. Rather, it is how we deal with what happens to us. And one of your effective coping mechanisms is to make sure that your internal system is not overrun by overactive stress chemical productions that will truncate your well-being. Another thing that you have to watch out for is that do you know that if you're stressed out, you produce too much stress chemicals? You will gravitate towards addiction? Absolutely, yes. Stress out a lab rat, a laboratory rat, and place that rat in a cage where it could press a lever to self-administer addictive drugs like cocaine or heroin. Oh my goodness, it's going to press that lever like mad. Now, bring an innocuous rat, a rat that's never been stressed out, and put it in the same place. Chances are it will lack the motivation to press the lever to the extent of getting addicted to that drug. When you're stressed out, you want to numb feelings of your repressed emotions, of your stress, by occupying your mind with some mood altering strategies, such as too much alcohol, drinking, it could be gambling, it could be uh, addiction to pornography, secreting enormous amount of dopamine in your brain, dopamine in your brain at the same time, dopamine that is extremely secreted and, and perpetuated will damage the brain. Because the do when the dopamine falls down to the baseline, it doesn't just stay at the baseline, it, sh over it overshoots the baseline. So you have to go for more of those addictive substances to actually feel the thrill, to feel the satisfaction that you had the first time. And the first time, the satisfaction of the first time is now a mirage because you continue to seek more stimulations in order to actually keep your life in sanity. So you are just chasing sanity. No, no, no longer are you chasing enjoyment. So the highs are gone. Now you're trying to minimize your lows and that is the formation of addiction. So reduce your stress. If you've been traumatized, get help. Go for therapy. Let somebody co-regulate your emotions with you. It is possible to redefine the geography of our existence if we are able to collaborate with others who can help us. And what I like to put my own passion is to educate the world. Public mental wellness is in my heart. And I do that through education. I hope you found this very useful. Uh, share this. Share this and ensure that somebody who is struggling right now, listen to this several times let them listen and listen until they figure out what i'm talking about i know it could be very complex or the very best or the very best speak to you soon